And hey guys, it is Bubble Tea Lover here with another episode of... Oh my gosh, I have hiccups! Oh, I thought I got rid of, rid of them, but I'm gonna still record because yeah, hiccups. Awesome. Oh my god, <laughs> just bear with me you guys. So, this is another episode of Mean Girl Senior Year, and I'm gonna read the summary and then we'll jump right into the gameplay. So, can you help Janice and Damien repair their friendship? That's a nice summary. Nice and short, short and brief. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And I'm gonna skip the ads because, yeah. <clears throat> One month later. Oh, a month skip, that's nice. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're counting down the days to winter break and that Oh my gosh, that means the clock is ticking on the college applica application d deadline. It might be cold outside, but that thing, but this, but things are heating up in the battle of for Yale. In neck to neck between Rihanna Garcia. Sorry, in a hurry. And Regina George, whose pocket who will pocket a whooping three million if she goes to the, oh my gosh, goes to the school of Rihanna Dream, Rihanna's dreams. Okay, these hiccups are starting to get annoying. I'm, I think I should just go get a soda, but I'm just gonna <laughs> Hey everyone, love ya. <sighs> Regina, tell us, what happened with your SATs? On my way to check the results right now. I'm proud to report my SAT tests all came back negative. Oh, that's that's not really something to be happy about. What? Oh, that's STD, Karen. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's good that she doesn't have any STDs. That's good. I'm not going to explain it to you guys because I know we have younger viewers. So, yeah. Um, I hope Regina gets in. We can take a buttload of trips to Cabo with three million. And now my lottery number predictions: six nine thirty two. Um, that would be cool if she was actually right. I would be like, <gasps> I wouldn't hiccup. I would be like, <gasps> I would buy buy a lottery ticket and scratch and see. Come on, come on, come on. What's the emergency? My SAT scores coming came out two minutes ago, and my stupid phone froze. You waited two whole mi minutes? You're slacking, Garcia. Maybe go old school and try the computer lab? Good idea. Clear a path, people. Rihanna's on a mission. Thanks. Good luck. Oh, he's so supportive. That's nice. Ever since the blood drive, Mikhail keeps pocket popping up in my mind. She's getting feelings for him. Oh, no. And then it's going to get in the way. Oh, no. I just needed to know if he likes me or not. It had me so an anxious. But so did my SAT's result. Not quite the score I was ho hoping for. How do you do? Let's pretend. Persistent. Oh my. Persistent. Wise. I couldn't be looking better. Priscilla. Early. It's, it's early morning. I woke up. I was like, I didn't record yesterday, so I was like, I need to record today. And I know you guys like Mean Girls a lot checking by the views so I was like hmm let me just go ahead and do Mean Girls so yeah why are you being shifty just tell me what your score is I don't think I should it might make you feel bad Puh, please these hiccups are annoying well what did you get I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours okay on the count of three one two three Perfect. Okay. Two thousand, two four. Oh, I should. Two thousand and two thousand four hundred. Yeah, right. 
I'm kidding, you didn't tell me yours. Neither did you. Not that it matters anyway at this point. Exactly, too late to do anything about it. Exactly. Oh my gosh, stop fighting. Well, I guess. Hey Damien, have you checked your... What? He ignored me. No one ignores Rihanna Gar Garcia. That was weird. What's up with him? We're on a friend hiatus. That's a thing. Well, yeah, it is a thing. It happened to me a couple of times. But um, what happened? For the last three years, Damien and I had had the this New Year's tradition. New Year's Eve tradition. He comes over, we order wings, we wait for the ball to drop. Then we take a shot every time the announcer says the word ball. We usually passed out by 10. So? So I broke the news that I made New Year's plans with Kevin. And it's not so well received. You never break a tradition. Like, it's like everything to you. Like, I wouldn't break traditions like I do ha like um let's use Christmas as an example I you I still do Christmas I go Christmas shopping I get Christmas trees even though I'm kind of a little old or no no here's better I go trick-or-treating still even though I'm pretty past the limit of being and I get like sometimes stairs but I guess I'm still technically a kid but um people look at me weird but I don't really care I didn't don't break traditions. My dad did it until he was 18. And I was like, <sighs> so my sister and me are competing to see who can um, go trick or treating for the longest. And I almost broke this year's because I was like, I kind of don't want to go. So yeah, but, mm, but then I was like, I don't want to really break it. So I went and yeah, so we're kind of neck to neck right now. So um, yeah. Not at all. Mm. Let's talk to Damien. Maybe I could talk to him? What would you say? Take a snap out of it. Kidding. I just noticed my voice changed also. Ugh. It's probably this cold. Trying to give him per some perspective. See your side of things. And remind him how amazing you are, of course. Thanks, kid. So I'm going to the museum. Uh, my gosh museum with Mikal tomorrow ooh spicy what are you wearing haven't even thought about it I heard he said I heard I heard him say he really likes outfits that are cute and pay playful who would have thought see if you have anything like that I bet you this is gonna have to do with diamonds and I don't have any because I'm broke so I will thanks Janice because I used it for Brianna's story Okay, so I was hoping I could see the museum trip to get a better read on it, on if Mikal into, was into me. Hmm. True, it's basically homework, but one-on-one -on -one time with Mikal expect, expect has me overthinking my outfit. Ooh, my hiccup stop. I just noticed that right now. Yes. Okay, let's see. I'll try on something. Uh, conservative. Not bad. Um... Uh, Let's see the other ones. Bold. I like the bold, but it looks better. Cute and playful. No. It's like... I'm either going with the bold or the conservative. I like the bold a lot. Even though, like, Rihanna is kind of like, um... How do I say this? Like, a mature person. I kind of want to put a little bit of, like childish immaturity into her because Brianna is kind of like immature. I don't know if you guys see it, but I, Brianna can be immature sometimes, but she can be um, mature also at some times. So I want to do that with Brianna also, but she's really, really mature, more mature than her, I, let's say, older sister and Brianna's the younger sister. So let's go with this look. Art and Mikal, this should be interesting. Mm-hmm. This should. Hey, Rihanna. Wearing the same thing? Yep. Hey. Glad you found me. I couldn't miss what 
you I couldn't miss you wearing this. Is it too much? No, no, it looks great. Thanks. You ready? Uh-huh, let's go learn stuff. I kind of thought that Rihanna and Regina were going to be, um, the two that are, were going to be partners, but, um, I know I'm supposed to be analyzing the paintings, but Mikael is m way more visibly, 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 visibly appealing. Oh my god, phone call! Okay, took care of that. Um, they had some pretty choice fashion, pretty choice some pretty choice fashion in Shakespeare time, hey? Tight and pants, tights and pantaloons. I think you can rock that look. How about the crazy lace collar in that painting? It looked pretty cute in one of those. I think I like to. I. Uh, it's like she's being choked by a bunch of coffee filters. Hold on, I have an idea. What? Oh my gosh, people are yelling again. You know I love it when people yell in my house when I tell them, hey, I'm gonna be recording. They always love to yell. What? I want a picture of you by the queen of the the painting. Wait, what? I said it wrong. He wants me in his picture. Um, okay. So your opinion on all this? Their wardrobes are gorgeous, but I think it's a prime example on how historical women have been held in held to impossible standards. I mean, poor Elizabeth, can you imagine trying to wage a war wearing that? Told ya, smartest pe person in the class. I wish. I got my SAT scores and they're not what I was expecting. I bet they still blow my score out of the water. I don't think they're strong enough to lock in y Yale. Maybe you should let the Yale decide what your decision is. What you think of your decision. <sighs> Maybe you should let Yale decide what you think of yourself. I, I don't. Yale or no, I have really high standards for myself. Uh, that's what I like about you. What he likes about me? Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to clean up my dogs. Uh, let's not get into it, cause yeah. Um. So what he likes about what he likes about me? You're almost at the finish line. After you send your applications, why don't you really re reward yourself with something that has nothing to do with Yale? Expand your mind. Okay, I'll humor you. Like what? Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry if you hear a little noise. My little sister's in here and I need to help her with her homework. So once I finish this recording, I gotta help her. So, um, well, if and I have to be, actually I have to finish this real quickly. So I'm sorry if I'm speeding up a little bit for you guys. Well, if you love the bards so much, the community college puts a Shakespeare in the park. Oh, and a theater in the city is doing much ado but about nothing. This spring, you should get tickets. Also, are you hungry? Starving. At this point, the rotting fruit in those Dutch still life paintings look, looks good to me. There's this incredible Italian spot down the street from here. Maybe we could have dinner? Is he asking me out on a date? What do you think? I can't! Uh, this, I'm gonna pass on his offer. I'd love to, but I have plans with Damien. I guess it'll have to be some other time then. Later, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Janice doesn't want to hurt your feelings. I'm sure you can understand how torn she feels. I really, I was already playing second fiddle to Janice, but now Kevin's in the orchestra. So what does that make me? Third fiddle, probably, probably lower. Probably like this, that it, dumb person with the finger si, 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 side ball. Trying to imagine yourself in her shoes. Oh, I have, and I look amazing in them. What I really think about it, I get so angry, I could dance. Janice loves you, you should hear her out. Why should I listen Listen when she turns a deaf ear to me, to, to any of emotional grievance? Anyway, I already know what she would say. You do, son, 
So you're a mind reader then. Should I tell Karen to back down? You know what I meant. I'm joking. But now I do. You have this mental image of you co-hosting Karen Uncensored. Karen and me, we Karen and me co-hosting, we'd break the internet. Probably. Anyway, my feelings won't change unless Janice changed her self-centered ways. Oh my gosh. Okay. I get your point of view, but try to use the weekend to get the, sis- the anger out of your system. Take your Janice temper temperature again on Monday. Sorry, guys. I have to end this episode here. I know you guys want to see more of Mean Girls, but then it's just... Oh, my parents, they're being so annoying. And yeah, so I love you guys so, so much. And subscribe for more, um, I guess, Mean Girls if you want more. And leave a like and comment down below. And yeah, I reply to your comments most of the time. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And bye!